so in the last video i told you that i'm making short videos like this in the moment so if you do appreciate these timely videos let me know down below and smash the like button as we go ahead now we just closed below the golden pocket which we all know is not good at all we could see price go down as low as forty-one thousand dollars for bitcoin we know what effect that will have on all altcoins now this is the golden pocket which we just closed below here and we see that we don't really have enough support right here there is not enough support so we stand a very high chance of going down as low as here where we will have a little bit of support coming in at forty one thousand five hundred dollars and the most support is at thirty nine thousand dollars now it depends on where we close but if we look like from here that will be coming in at thirty nine thousand five hundred now this is assuming that we have price action that happens like so so if we have price action that happens like so that will come in at 39,500 but the most likely scenario is we come down like so and still it is at 39,000 uh, I really think we could go as low as that and this is not good news at all now we could also say that we bounce back from here at $41,000 before we go up the goal here is to put together every scenario and consider how we'll play it if it goes one way or the other some people would say that you say two things and it goes up or it goes down it goes exactly as you said but the thing is you always have to know what could happen if it goes up you know what you will do if it goes down you know what to do now the reality here is we have a very strong zone of resistance here and a very strong zone of support if price breaks to the upside we could have a target of about fifty three thousand four hundred dollars and if it breaks to the downside it will be catastrophic of course that could give us a price target of about thirty thousand two hundred dollars now the reason why i say this to the upside is very unlikely here some people would say that i'm a bear and i wish that prices go down i do not uh, is because if price goes up to fifty three thousand five hundred or fifty three thousand four hundred and eighty three dollars it would have invalidated the head and shoulders pattern that we have here and if that does happen then we are in the bull market once again until that does happen we are not in the bull market this is more of a bear market now what i see here which i think is particularly bad about these charts is the fact that on the daily time frame this is right here we are on the daily time frame so you can see that here if we come to the four hourly time frame and think that perhaps prices would uh there is an indication that we will go up there is no indication here that we are going to continue going up in fact this all tells us that we are going to go down now why is that important why should we be looking at these lower time frames you see when you want to cash out on any cryptocurrency when you want to take your profits it does not mean that you should immediately sell because you think prices are going to go down you need to look at the lower time frames to see if in the very short term there is going to be an increase in price so that you are taking your loss but not to a very high extent the charts could show that the next day or say the next week will be bearish but that doesn't mean that the next hour will not be bullish so these time frames are very different and you should treat them as such sometimes i would say you know what to do this is because in the immediate short term we could be bearish but in the longer term we are bullish or say in the immediate short term we are bullish and in the longer term we are bearish so in such cases you sell in the immediate short term say you sell the top in the immediate short term and then you wait for the longer term which is more bearish so but here on the daily time frame if we go to the four hourly time frame which we could say is trying to be say uh, bullish right now it's at 43 at 43 500 dollars now and if we go but this four hourly time frame is not showing bullish perhaps the close of these four hours would determine where the market is going to go in the immediate short term if we come back here on the daily time frame and i've you know this is the weekly and i've also talked about this most of the times on my uh, predictive analysis videos most of the times when I leave those types of videos, I say a lot of stuff that I would not say on a regular video. So when you're watching them, there would be a lot of things that you can learn from there, which I would not make a particular video about. On the daily time frame here, we show a lot of bearish price action. So this means here that we're going to go down. It is important to note that when we are showing bearish price action on any time frame, 
the beginning of the next time frame is opposite to what the the previous time frame shows us so you can see from here this daily candle here which has a lot of volume by the way you can see the volume there this time frame shows us that we are going to continue going down but the next day which is today which is the start of this day today we have just been like two hours into the day we see bullish price action now later on in the day it is very uh, possible that we start to go back down so there are a lot of traders who will want to sell the top of this day right here and that can be done in the lower time frames and that's the reason why we will go back to the four hourly time frame right here and if we can't see that in the four hourly time frame we'll go to the one hour time frame so there is no bullish price action in the daily time frame four hourly time frame and even the one hour time frame we are at least beginning to see this uh, green candle here which could end up like this one right here or say like this one right here so it goes up or say yeah, the other better example is this one it goes up and people start to sell say investors sell and it goes down right here and we have a, a bit of bullish price action and it comes back here i mean either ways this is a bearish candle we see what happened here so to know if this hour will be bullish we have to go to the 30 minute time frame and look for the close the close of the 30 minute time frame and here we see a bit of bullish price action which means this hour or say this next hour will be bullish and so that is exactly how you know uh, when to cash out on or say when to take your loss on any crypto you go to the lower time frames and see where to sell so it is very possible that you have a W pattern on the 30 minute time frame or say on the 15 minute time frame and you have an M pattern on the 4 hourly and on the daily time frame. So let's go to the 15 minute time frame and see if there is more bullish price action here. So this is Bitcoin on the 15 minute time frame and here on the 15 minute time frame you can see that we've been having or we are having a falling wedge here. You will have to learn how to see these patterns immediately uh, when you look at the charts so this is the falling wedge here so if i was to cash out or say take my loss i will take the loss when we hit this resistance zone of the wedge here now remember there is a chance that we close above it and if we close above it then the take profits level will be at the top of the wedge so take profit level of uh, falling wedges they are always uh, say most of the times at the top of the wedge uh, another way you can calculate that is uh, where you have an opening like this where price bounces off uh, the support and resistant levels so if we come out here if we break out here then we will be taking profit here so we see that we're most likely going to go back down here at 41k and uh, probably at 39k also here now you have to know that there is a chance that we reach 39k and then we have a waterfall here this is something that is also very possible so taking your loss here could be better than hoping that this will turn around and go back uh, and go back up now because we everything that we see here is uh, just an indication of price uh, going back going to the downside and uh, there is no indication here that we are going to go back up now let's take a look at dogecoin and see if uh, we should be selling now or we should be holding on so this is dogecoin on the daily time frame and we can see that it had this falling wedge which it broke out of to the upside but was uh, rudely interrupted by Bitcoin's dump. Uh, this would have made a lot of gains if Bitcoin did not dump the way it did. But if we come here on the four hourly time frame, we would see something very interesting. Dogecoin is holding on to this level here at the 14 cent level, uh, which is proving to be a very strong zone of support. Now remember, this was the zone of resistance, The uh, this line right here, this one at the top, that was the zone of resistance and now it is acting as the zone of support. 
uh, acting as a zone as the zone of support means that this could be a good buying zone but the problem here is the fact that bitcoin uh, is not acting as the zone of support in its own chart so if bitcoin continues to dump dogecoin will indeed break this support zone right here will break this support zone right here and continue to dump right uh, to the downside and that could lead right down to about 10 cents so uh, this could be an ideal time to sell actually to sell uh, dogecoin now remember this is a very huge risk you could sell and uh, for uh, some unforeseen circumstances Bitcoin continues to go up or starts to go back up and so you have Dogecoin uh, bounce off of here and uh, rises back up to here now if Dogecoin actually succeeded with its uh, rally it could have led to price a price target of about 21 uh, cents actually which would have been the top of uh, the Dogecoin uh, the falling wedge right here so yeah that would have been 21 cents that would have uh, been the price target of dogecoin i wanted to call the sell order at uh, 20 cents but sadly i did not so my mistake and uh, it is the way it is now so uh that is dogecoin and um i do think it could break down it could break this uh, support zone right here it could break this uh support zone right here and plummet down to about 10 cents if bitcoin continues to go down which it most probably will so i will be selling out my position here uh just after i make this video uh i will wait for just about 30 minutes maybe to see if uh, there would be any bullish price action and i'll follow the same rules that i've told you guys uh and i will most likely sell my position here of course i never sell everything never i never sell everything i could sell say 80 uh, percent or 70 percent or 75 percent i never sell everything i prefer to lose maybe 20 percent or 25 percent now leaving that uh small percentage that's what is called a moon bag i will make a video where i talk about some cryptocurrency or some words that we use in crypto which i may have been saying them on the channel or on the tiktok page and you guys don't understand what i'm talking about so i'll make i'll make a dedicated video for that so i never sell my moon bag i always keep something uh left in the markets so that for if for some reason if i missed something and the price pumps like shiba inu did i would have uh, something in the markets um so that is it for dogecoin now there is one thing i should have seen which should have made me pull the plug on the selling order this is the total crypto market cap chart as you guys may have noticed i do not use a lot of indicators i use candlesticks and the patterns that they form this my friends is the total crypto market cap chart so we see total here and this is on the daily time frame now this is the rally that we've been having with bitcoin and it affected all cryptocurrencies i'll make another dedicated video for this for why all cryptocurrencies turn to go up when bitcoin goes up and basically it's the liquidity between uh the, the trading pairs now so we see that here on the daily here we had a sell signal now this is a bearish engulfing pattern on the daily and when this happens on the daily it means that the next day will be bearish the next day will be bearish and most likely the day after that just like i said on the weekly the next week is bullish and the week after that is most likely bearish and the week after after that is most likely bearish so that is exactly what we see here and we see that it continues to plummet on the four hourly we see the same thing and on the one hourly we continue to see bearish price action so let's look at the 30 minute or so yeah the 30 minute uh time frame it's basically the same thing actually it's basically the same thing because this right here this right here let me zoom that a bit so this right here is also a bearish engulfing pattern this means price is still going to continue going down like so so now that you see this for yourself uh, you can make your own judgment based on this analysis 
So we see the price action in the markets and we see that we are most likely headed for doom in the very short term. If there is any changes in the charts or call for attention, I will make another video to update you. Until then, see you in the next video and take care.